I don't know how it happened, but it dropped on my heart and my eyes were just open to a certain kind of man that I sense strongly that I really need to talk about here on the channel. And this kind of man is what is called a womanizer. Stay tuned. A womanizer is, I mean, if you look at the word itself, as I've just shown you, if you break down the word, a womanizer is a man who abuses women or who uses women. And he's not, abu he's not using women for good, he's, he's using women for his own gain. Obviously, abuse can never be for good. It's again for his own gain. A womanizer is typically a good-looking man and a womanizer is typically going to be attracted or attract to himself good-looking women. A, a womanizer is a kind of man who sees being attracting to himself, to himself or uh, uh, creating a rapport with beautiful women. He sees that as a notch on his belt because beautiful women obviously typically will garner a lot of attention right and typically a lot of men would want to be associated with that woman and if he gets to garner rapport as that woman's friend or have that woman in his life at a closer proximity to him that makes him look like yeah 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 he got it going on right but it's not about you it's about him and what it means for him and the message that it communicates to every other cat that's trying that's tried to get to the good looking woman but couldn't that's that sees the good look, looking woman but wouldn't even dare to step to her he's gonna get close to that woman because you are not on on his belt that's what a womanizer does a womanizer will surround himself with a bunch of intelligent intelligent just amazing women to serve all kinds of different roles in his life this these women will fawn fall and faff and fuss over this womanizer uh, you know they will uh, and he will suck the their resources from them so he'll have one woman fulfilling domestic duties for him he'll have one woman fulfilling uh, intellectual duties and you know a role for him he'll have one woman uh, fulfilling a sexual role for him he'll have one woman fulfilling a friendship role for him uh, one woman fulfilling just a mothering role for him all kinds of role he sets you up and he lines you up and you are uh, doing all these things for him that fulfill roles for him to be played by you and it's not about you it's about him and how he can use these women for his benefit. A womanizer is very selfish and uh, is all about himself. But he, how he plays the game is that he comes across as a very kind, charismatic, even gentle and well-intentioned kind of man. And he knows how to nuance that game. He knows how to nuance that finesse you know, of appearing as an innocuous, a harmless kind of guy. And so all these beautiful and intelligent women who let him use them for their resources, whether it's intellectual, uh, academic, domestic, sexual, whatever, uh, these women allow him because he, he presents himself in that way. And he's able to then uh, you know, worm his way into these women's lives and use them. Uh, a womanizer is never concerned about you. He's always concerned about how you can serve him. And he's typically very good looking. He's typically a sought after man. He's typically charismatic. Everybody likes him. A womanizer typically has a lot of women friends around him surrounding him right and all these friends he refers to them as friends why because he's not involved with any of them yet he's interested in all of them 
so if anything were to happen with one or two or three or four of them he's going to take the opportunity but he's absolutely not going to make anything official in terms of involvement with them he just keeps everybody kind of hanging around him without any kind of commitment further than we're just friends so he surrounds himself with all these women friends who serve him in these different roles and in these different ways he calls them friends and sometimes you might even hear as one woman amongst the many you might even hear about another lady but there's no point with him where he gets to the point where he says oh i'm friends with so and so that other lady i think you guys would get along let me introduce you to each other so you can both be friends as well and we can all be friends and we can all get along oh no 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 that's his circle that's his resource to use and abuse so even though allegedly apparently all these women are friends the circle of women this this you know this line of women are friends with him they don't know each other like that they either don't know about each other or know each other but don't know each other like that they don't know each other enough to be friends and he doesn't he he will never facilitate that you get to know each other as friends should you get to know each other as friends that highly annoys him because then he can't finesse you uh, quite as individually and as separately as he he would be able to if nobody's connected you see it annoys him a womanizer does not like you is not interested in you and is not about you he's about himself womanizers actually I would go as far as to say I probably have a mother wound an absent mother and they're trying to kind of assemble with this slew of wonderful great women a a, a woman that kind of represents his mother so there's a void in his heart but he doesn't understand that how he goes about doing this is actually abusive and is actually makes him a user and is unkind to all these women and uh, and is very hateful to all these women and hurtful to all these women he doesn't know that or he might even know that and he doesn't care as long as he gets to have what is missing in him and as long as he gets to fulfill it in the way that he's decided is the best way to do it ladies that is the womanizer stay away from this kind of guy so you know you know one month or two months or however many months you'll be flavor of 